Hi, this is Rakka from Lava Show. Uh, so today is Wednesday, July 12th, 2023, uh, and we're here at the eruption site on the third day of the eruption. Um, what we're seeing here behind me is basically a cone in the distance and then lava streams flowing down. Just in a matter of two days, we are seeing a lot of lava being poured out. Uh, on Monday, when uh, we flew here over with the drone first, the lava stream barely came up, like past this mountain here, just a small lava stream. And now the lava actually has almost filled up this valley, it's filled up this valley and flowed all the way there and it's quite possible actually that at some point maybe tomorrow maybe the day after we this uh, little hill here that we're standing on might actually get cut off and it will no longer be possible to get there so there are a few things that i think is worth mentioning so first of all the eruption opened up by a mountain called Little Rutur or Little Ram, which is next to us, to us here. And uh, it was a fissure eruption of 200 meters to begin with. Then it expanded to over a kilometer and then it shrunk back again. And now it's about a 200 meter long fissure in a few openings that is pouring out lava. And these few openings are slowly merging and becoming one big cone. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that develops. Um, there is, however, a little bit of worry from experts and scientists that more fissures will open. Uh, the magma intrusion that is still under the surface, under this entire area here, uh, is very, very large. And ap apparently the pressure is increasing, which makes the scientists believe that it's actually quite likely that new openings may open up. All the way north towards Kaler, there in the distance, uh, or even in this region here below us. So um, that's, I, I would say, <laughs> quite frankly, a little bit scary, but also incredibly exciting to, to uh, watch. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of smoke in the region and it's actually both gases, toxic gases emanating from the eruption, as well as uh, basically just smoke from the fires because moss is actually uh, catching fire due to the heat and due to the lava. So the moss is catching fire, it's been really dry, it's been quite windy as you can maybe hear and, uh, and it's been like this for days now which is a little bit unusual for Iceland and now we're basically seeing that everything is super dry and everything is catching fire all around us. So that's adding to the smoke. And right now the wind is blowing from the north, south towards uh, the ocean, and it actually blows over part of the trail that people are hiking right now. So I would say not the best conditions to make the long track up here. It's about, uh, nine, 10 kilometers, just one way. So it is a long hike. And with the added danger of the gases and the smoke, it can be a little bit perilous. Um, yes, so uh, there are a few things that I think is worth mentioning. So for everyone who is thinking of making the hike up here, um, there are dangers that you need to be aware of. First of all, because of the long distance of the hike, please <laughs> prepare, please prepare. Uh, have the right equipment, have the right shoes on, have layers of clothing, bring lots of water, some snacks and food. <coughs> 
and uh, and definitely try to make sure that you're following the guidelines from the uh, search and rescue teams in the area and really trying to stay clear of the smoke and gas if you absolutely can because it's definitely not good for you. Um, we are also seeing some people actually attempting to walk on the newly formed lava. Please, please, by any means, do not walk on the lava. It can be extremely dangerous. And the, the search and rescue teams have actually declared that, you know, if something happens to anyone walking on lava, they will not be rescued. Nobody else is going to potentially get hurt from rescuing someone else. So do not walk on the lava. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah, this is needed. It's difficult to look away, really. <laughs> Mesmerizing. And the heat, even if we're standing at a safe distance, the heat is just, it's, it's difficult to explain. So the lava is probably about 1,000 degrees Celsius hot, almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and even if you're standing probably around 50 to 100 meters away, it's spicy hot. <laughs> um, it's actually uh, interesting. We can see that people are walking here through the lava field and they're walking through the smoke. And um, it's not really the nicest feeling to think of all the people walking through this. And actually, there was this story that I heard of a guy from last Monday on the eve of the eruption uh, that decided to hike to the newly erupting volcano. and. Uh, he decided to take the old path, or the, the, the path A, as we called it, uh, over Fjarradalsfjall. And in that time, the wind was actually blowing straight towards him. And he made the hike, he made it to the volcano, and then on the way back, he started to suddenly feel really tired, really drowsy, his feet weren't really obeying, and he just decided to sit down. And the next thing he knows, he's actually in the back of a rescue, uh, search and rescue car. Uh, he had basically passed out. And if it wouldn't have been for those people saving him, he would probably not see the light of day again. So um, as mesmerizing as it is, it's also slightly terrifying. It's, it's all at once, indescribably beautiful and terrifying. I want to recommend to everyone who uh, wants to take this journey to the volcano to start out by, by actually uh, visiting Lava Show in Reykjavik because you will first of all learn about uh, Icelandic volcanism you will learn about the Reykjanes Peninsula and the power beneath. And you will also learn everything about lava and how it behaves in nature. So you should definitely check that out before making the long hike and be prepared. So, what an incredible night this has been. It's been absolutely amazing. And as you can see, there's plenty of people here. Um, it's definitely become a little bit of a <laughs> festival. Uh, and, you know, even if the hike is definitely long, 
it's all worth it. It's worth it seeing the volcano erupting. Um, as long as people are being safe and mindful of what they need to, um, you know, take into consideration. But other than that, you know, uh, thank you for watching. We will keep you posted with all the development that's going to happen. So stay tuned. <laughs> Action. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, bitte. If you're interested in uh, lava related items, I suggest you go and check out the grapevine store. Uh, there's loads of things there. Check it out. <laughs>